Right, I'm about to do the sides of the trolley. I've got three pieces for each side, but they've got to be cut down because I don't want it too tall. It's got to be below the bulkhead piece. So what I've done, I've cut the groove off the bottom of this one, and the next job is to smooth it off. I mean, I could leave it rough, but I'm going to smooth that off and uh, get a nice square edge, and I, it's going to give me a good uh, reason to show you the way I do that. Now, I, I could easily plane these down with a hand plane. I just want to smooth the edge, although it doesn't show, but it gives me a chance to show off my homemade router table and device. Now, this is very useful if you're trying to get a nice square edge on a board, perhaps you're joining three together gluing them, it's important to get a lovely straight, very smooth edge along there with no kinks in. And this does the job admirably. What it is, it's just a normal, it's a tiny little router table here which I've extended and I've got a, a special fence here and there's a piece of actual formica it doesn't have to be four micro, anything would do, but four micro just happened to fit the bill because it's very thin. That's glued on that side, nothing on this side. The principle is, when you push the wood across, the, the router cutter cuts a, shaves a little bit off, and as it hits this side, it supports the other side. Obviously, if you didn't have that on there, it would, it would bounce about and it wouldn't work properly. So it's, a, it's really brilliant at giving you a nice right angle on your timber and a nice flat edge, and I'm just going to demonstrate it now. So it'll be a bit noisy. I've got a little vacuum cleaner under the bench which is attached to a hose here which sucks the most of the sawdust away. First thing to do is to put your goggles on because you do get flying bits of sawdust and you don't want them in your eyes. And also the ear protectors because it's a bit noisy. What it does do, it gives you a nice smooth edge and also it's at, at exact right angles which it's difficult to achieve with a hand plane and sometimes even on a plane of thickness or unless you've got the fence perfectly perpendicular you get an angle on there whereas this method it's always at right angles. So now I'm going to do my actual boards for the trailer. I'm going to put a rounded edge on the top board of the sides because I think it'll look nicer and I don't like sharp edges. Normally what I would do, I'd put a rounded cutter in the router table and run it across there but I'm too lazy to change the cutter. So what I'm going to do is use this hand hold one which has already got a round off cutter in it. So I'm going to try and do it with that. I've got it clamped on the bench so we'll see how we get on. Safety glasses on as always. Okay, I've been busy in the workshop all day today doing the woodwork on this trailer and I've done most of it now. It's not looking too bad actually, is it? The actual chains and pins which hold the sides on were missing. Uh, so I've done, I've made some, some replacements out of scrap stuff. All I did, I took a five inch nail and cut the top off, heated it with a blow lamp and bent it into a circle for the chain. And the chain that I'm used is a bit of an old settee actually, what they used to support the the seating on. Here's my latest dilemma, fitting a towing hitch on the trailer so I can tow it with a garden tractor. Now my idea is to fit an angle bracket on here with a hole in it and then make a linkage bar probably. I've got various pieces of metal that would do the job. I've got this strange piece of ironwork, could chop that piece off there and I've got a ready-made angle bracket but I've got another ready-made bracket here which is obviously some sort of towing bracket which leaves me with my nice green piece of angle iron which looks strong enough to me because it's as strong as the original trailer angle iron and uh, it looks ready made for the job it's already painted green as well 
The first thing I'm going to do is cut this piece of angle iron down to make the bracket. Turn it. I'm going to grind this down with the other angle grinder just to take the rough edges off and, and uh, straighten that bit out and, and round the corners off because I don't like it like that. It's not a bad little bracket actually, that'd be okay. Drill two holes in to fix it on the trailer. And then another hole for the, the coupling here. Right, we're about ready for drilling. A little bit of oil in the job. If you've got nice sharp drill bits, it makes it a lot easier. A bit of oil. This drill, by the way, I bought this. Oh, it must be getting on for 40 years ago. It's been a good drill actually. Now we just need one larger hole for the for this uh, hitch pin to go through. Right, we'll just drill this larger hole now for the towing hitch. Got that, job done. Didn't take long did it? And that piece will go on like so. There you can see. Now you see, now I've got a bracket with a little tone hitch ready. Have you ever spent a lot of time doing something, messing around, having plans, and then thinking, oh no, why did I do all that? There's a much easier way. Well, that's what's just happened to me. All the time I'm thinking about using one of these and drilling a bigger hole there to poke that U bracket through, and then attach it to the trailer and the tractor using one of these things. A thought just struck me after I'd done all this, got this all prepared. I've got my bracket already cut, that's fine. I can bolt that onto the back of the trailer. And I've got a similar bracket on the tractor, so that's not a problem. All I need to do is fit this on the back of the trailer. I can just uh, get a large bolt to put through there. A right, simpler case of bolting this onto the back of the trailer. And then when you want to use it, you simply get a I've got a large half inch bolt and a half inch nut to go on it. Just pop that on there. Just bolt that onto there. And then when you come to use the trailer on a tractor, just offer the bar up like that. Put the large half inch bolt through. Put the nut on the other end. Stop it jumping off. Connect the other end to the tractor and hopefully that should do the job. The towing bracket is now fitted onto the back of the turntable part of the trolley. I've also given it a coat of hammerite. Doesn't look too bad and it's certainly not in the way of anything. So hopefully it will work fine. Well, this is the towing bar. I hope it works all right. I painted it with a bit of that green that I had left over just to stop it going any rustier. I think it will do the job fine. At least I can detach it and keep it out of the way. Well, there we are folks. Just about finished now. I've just put the coat of varnish on it. Well, it's not varnish, it's wood stain. That's the back view. I'll just show you how it functions. You just pull the pins out on either side of the back, like so, and the back flops down there. The back is removable. You can now use it as a flatbed truck. I think it looks like a bed, actually, from this angle. <laughs> it does look like a bed. I'm just going to put the side panels back on. There we go. So the total cost to me has been a set of four wheels, £45 off eBay, and the varnish and wood stain cost me £8.95. Anyway, that's about it folks. Bye for now until my next project.